if I say to you, what makes a Doctor Who fan? What would you say? A very very warm welcome hello and a special hello actually to some new subscribers that i've realized i've got um that's lovely to see so nice to see you um if you've not heard of me before my name is Shaw um geek rambles i do doctor who videos um i did do a little bit of marvel and star wars but i just figured that i'm probably a bit more of a doctor who fan than i am of anything else in terms of my knowledge that uh, I need to have that on record because I still love Star Wars and Marvel that will never change but that sort of thing got me thinking and wondering and I put a tweet up actually I uh, can't even remember how long ago it was basically asking you what really made you love the show what made you fall in love with it and what was your episode that you sort of started watching the show um, I got quite a few responses unfortunately I can't go through them all um, because that would be impossible and would be here forever however what I do want to do is have a route through see what you guys said um, and then really talk about what makes a Doctor Who fan and how do you even become a Doctor Who fan I mean how do you actually become a fan of anything can we just take a second to appreciate my Death Star light. I bought it ages ago and I genuinely didn't even remember that I had it and then I found it and I just can't stop looking at it. It's so beautiful! <laughs> Let's actually bring you in closer. Let's see if we can get some more out of you. Yeah, I like that. Because I'm very very low tech and because I am not really great at anything in terms of screenshotting or sharing screens with anything I'm just going to use my phone um, I thought that, that would probably be the easiest way to do this and um, it means that I can go through your tweets with a bit more ease than I probably would on my computer I've also remembered I actually just put a Doctor Who tweet out oh god I think it was yesterday the day before um, with what I thought was an unpopular opinion turns out ugh, well at least at least 1100 people agree with my opinion which kind of means it's not popular anymore oh and while i'm at it i mean i can't plug anything except myself i suppose so go and follow me on twitter um i really don't have that many followers but i would really love some more because with this i get to talk to you about more things um probably doctor who related to be fair and i really really love interacting with everyone so if you could do that and do me a tiny teeny little favor that would be fantastic also while i'm also on the subject seeing as this is literally what i'm going to be doing at the minute i suppose if you could click that lovely button it's going to be down here somewhere i'm sure down here <laughs> i don't really know but if you could click that lovely little subscribe button that would be fantastic i would just oh it would mean loads i'd love you forever if i can get to 500 by what month are we in at the minute may hmm if i could do that in time for april no if i could do that in time for autumn I'm going to go for autumn. If I get to 500 by autumn, I'll be absolutely over the moon. I mean, if I can get to that magic number 1000, then that'll be even better. But I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to try and be too aspirational. That would be, that would be ridiculous. Okay, so I've got 56 comments here. I'll try my best to include as many as possible, but I've got a feeling that I'm not going to be able to. <laughs> okay, so Spidey in TARDIS says that the answer to both is Father's Day in 2005. Um great episode i love that one myself actually it's probably the one where I, I, don't, I don't know what i was expecting i was 10 years old so i'm not gonna you know go ahead and say that oh so, you know i can really feel emotions of a show because I, I mean i can at that age but probably not at the level i could now apart every rewatch is even better to me every time i see that so i can really understand why you fell in love with that one um yeah i love that too i have had a lot of tweets about tom baker's era um i'll put them all on screen somewhere if you watched my most recent video about me ranking doctors then you will already know that i love tom baker a hell of a lot so i'm um I'm with you on that one control height wall says a blink and the waters of mars made me love the show even more than i already did because of the scare factor they bring with them i actually found myself being scared watching them for the first time oh my goodness me too um, I don't actually, um, 
understand how Doctor Who was ever a kid's show. I know that it was meant to originally be educational and, you know, something for the kids after they got home from school and were just about to tuck into their dinner. Or maybe just after. I don't really know. I wasn't alive at the time. Um, but when it comes to the scare factor of Doctor Who, I think that's why I love it so much because even at my age of 27... Ooh. Um, I can still be scared by things like, you know, weeping angels. They still scare the life out of me. I can still be scared by some alien creature that gets infected by water on Mars. Uh, that that still, you know, really, really makes me um, makes me scared even now. You know, even though I know what's coming on a rewatch, it still scares me. Kieran Cooper also says about Father's Day, it was just so odd. So of course, I had to keep watching, and now I'm addicted to the show. Oh, that's what I love to hear. I just, you know, it's kind of those things where, you know, what actually was it that made you fall in love with the show? What got you addicted in the first place? I mean, I'm a Whovian, so of course I'm addicted by it, no matter what. Uh, Bill for Vendetta says, oh, the first episode was Spearhead from Space. I was six. Always loved it, but Ark in Space was when I had to watch every week. I um, have only recently got into Classic Who, probably in the past year or so, um, and yeah, you're, you're right, Ark in Space is amazing, so I can uh, I can completely appreciate that one. Greg Campbell says, first series I watched was Trial of a Time Lord, but the one that really cemented a lifelong love of the show was Remembrance of the Daleks. Oh, that is such an incredible episode. I love it so, 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 so much. Oh, that is a really good one, isn't it? Yeah, fantastic. Uh, at Stewie Day it says The Sea Devils episode 1 Original transmission And it bloody terrified 5 year old me um, Yeah I have seen that And funnily enough my stepdad um, I have told him about That the Sea Devils were coming back In Legend of the Sea Devils um, I won't actually get into that episode though And he said oh my goodness Do you actually understand how scared I was When the Sea Devils originally um originally aired in in classic who he's a bit of a hoovian himself and i, I mean i love that <laughs> um but yeah he said that when they crawled out of the water he said he actually re remembers running away into the kitchen i think he said um or hiding behind the sofa but i genuinely still don't quite get that term even now Lindsay, this is a different one Lindsay um at madam satan underscore 13 says my first doctor who episode was the woman who fell to earth as jodie whittaker being the first female doctor um, it's not actually that common that i come across someone where jodie whittaker is their first doctor um i wonder what happened were you were you living under a rock for the past Oh, God knows how many years. Um, I mean, I love anyone that becomes a new Whovian. This is kind of the point of this whole video. It's, you know, what makes you a Doctor Who fan. So um, it's uh, it's good to have you as one of us. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, at Delboy30 underscore zero says, First episode for me was an unearthly child shown on the BBC on the 23rd of November 1963. And I've watched ever since. Well, at the risk of... Um, calling you elitist or anything and um, I think that makes you a proper Doctor Who fan if you've watched ever since I want to know though what was it like during the hiatus years for you because of course you didn't have things like Britbox or Netflix or anything really um, to be able to, to, to watch it on um, I'm guessing that VHS's were, were all the rage back then I actually do still remember those wow fun times when you used to have to untangle the whole bloody tape part of a VHS at Gumboot Guru says, I still have Blink saved on my TV. I loved David Tennant. Oh, didn't we all? I think Blink was just the one. I think if you're going to start watching Doctor Who, or if I was to introduce someone to Doctor Who, I'm just going to put that down, then I would introduce them to Blink. Even though it's a Doctor Light episode, I feel like that is one where you can really get to know the world of Doctor Who a little bit. And uh, I think that is probably due to it being one of the scariest and at risk of causing a bit of an argument one of the uh, most original episodes uh, of doctor who that i've seen anyway um yeah i think that's um i think that's a great shout doctor who has been part of my life since i was 10 years old um my granddad actually was the one who said to me about doctor who i remember the first ever trailer being on i think it was i think it was billy piper in the tardis with uh, chris frockston behind her and oh, apologies this this photo every single time i'm doing a video this is what happens um it, it makes me look like i'm 
a bit popular with people because they it, my phone goes off on every single video but I'm actually not but anyway yeah sorry so my granddad told me about it when I saw the trailer and I was actually staying with him at the time um, and he said oh I remember Doctor Who because he was very very young when it first came out I think he was about 10 um, and he said that <laughs> the way he worded it was oh yeah I think it was about this guy that this old guy that went around with a schoolgirl and my mum said what that just sounds a bit weird dad why would you say that and my first ever episode was end of the world i never watched rose or well i did but um i didn't start with rose um purely because i came into it i suppose one or two episodes a bit too late reason being is because back to my granddad again god love him um he said about a certain episode which i absolutely adore now the unquiet dead uh, and told me that it made the hairs on the back of his neck stand up now as a 10 year old girl that kind of scares you and makes you not want to watch it um, but I, I love the show so so much I fell in love with it probably probably properly fell in love with it anyway um with the empty child and the doctor dances I think that was the one where I just thought oh this is incredible I mean I love um stories about wartime I love things like World War II. I don't love them you know not like a big fan um but I'm interested that's probably the better better word to uh, to use in things like World War II and um going back to the past in that one really really helped me cement my love for the show um and Christopher Eccleston was just so fantastic and uh, pun absolutely intended and I just adored him so I think that was what made me fall in love with the show of course with David Tennant came just I mean taking the show from here and just elevating it all the way up there um, because he was one of my favorite doctors not as much as other people i've said that before i'll say it again um but i i really really loved it and um his companionship with rose was just wonderful on screen but i mean donna oh god i love donna so much um even with martha i mean i know they did her so wrong but i um i loved his i loved his companionship with martha too then of course my personal favorite matt smith um just made it amazing i think that's when it became big in america as in a mainstream environment for a sci-fi show anyway and i think that's when you guys over over the pond really um really started to love the show too please correct me if i'm wrong because i'm not quite sure when it all happened it just seemed that during matt smith's tenure was when it became quite popular over in america too so uh, yeah let me know on that one what i want to know is when did you fall in love with doctor who what was the first episode where you just thought oh yes i am a fan i'm invested and i'm going to continue to watch this show i'd love to know and um, please drop them down in the comments that would be great to hear from you as well uh, i love comments and i do think i'm quite good at responding to them so please uh, please make sure you do i'd love to interact with you also relating a little bit to my previous video and um, what doctor did you fall in love with as well i feel like that would really um that would really make a difference and it does when it comes to you know what sort of area you like um and also while i'm on the topic what writer did you love the most or what showrunner did you love the most i know that john nathan turner gets a really bad rap but there's a great um there's a great couple of videos that i watched recently regarding his run um about how it all sort of ended um but yeah i really want to know your showrunner too who's your favorite showrunner let me know i would love to hear from you i think it's great just to be able to get other people's opinions um, and really interact with you guys but until next time keep yourself well keep yourself super super safe and i will see you very very soon